how to add a navigation menu in WordPress step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can add a navigation menu in your WordPress website. So WordPress can be super difficult to navigate through if you're not certain about what you're trying to do. And WordPress menus are not automatically created. Your pages are not linked. So you actually have to do that all yourself. And I will be showing you guys exactly how you can add a menu like this to your WordPress dashboard or to your WordPress website. Now, this works for all themes or templates. Whatever template you are using, it doesn't matter. You can do this step by step and uh, it will be the same for you as well. So first off, you need to log on to your WordPress dashboard. Once you are logged on to your WordPress dashboard, you want to scroll down over here on the left side and you will find appearance. Once you click on appearance, you actually will see a drop down menu and it says menus over here and you just want to click on that. Now you will be able to see all of your menu items and this is my automatic mega menu. Now with menus, I do recommend that you make sure you're certain about what you're supposed to add how. So I'm going to click on delete menu and I'll show you guys from scratch how you're going to build your menu. Now, first off, you want to name your menu. So it's going to be main menu and then you have your menu settings. So where should your menu be added? I want it to be my primary menu. So that's going to be the menu that's on the top of your screen. Once you do that, you're just going to click on create menu. And it also has automatically add new top level pages to this menu. I don't like to do that because obviously your pages are going to be categorized in certain drop downs. It's not going to do that. It's going to directly put them in the menu section, which is not going to look good. So once you have added your um, basic menu, you want to get started with building it and uh, building your menu is going to be very essential. So what I'm going to do is on the left side of your screen, you're going to find all of your pages. You have your view all section, you have your set section, and we will get started with building our menu step by step. So what I like to do is like to select all the items that I have. So you can click on most recent or view all and select all and click on add to menu because I like to add everything that I have into my menu section. If there are any pages that have you have just created, you will just select those specific pages and then add them over here. Now, once you have everything added, you want to categorize. So let's say I want my home page, then my product page, then you have checkout, which is not going to be a menu item. This is going to be a sub menu item within my account page. So what I like to do is I like to add my home shop. I'm not going to make this a sub page. So I'm going to make this my second page like this home shop product and I want products to be a sub page of shop. So you guys can see over here, sometimes you hover your mouse and then you get the sub pages. So products are a sub page of shop. So to do that, all you have to do is click on this. Once you move it slightly to the right, it will say sub item in front of it. And that means it is now a sub item or sub page of the initial shop page. Now you can do this with any page and you can create as many sub pages as you want. And if you want to remove anything from a sub page just click on the item and you will click on out from under whatever page you've added it under and this will create it back to a basic page or basic menu item but I want it to be a sub page so I will create this now let's say all of this is sub page for product so 23 is a product and then a sample page is also a product of our little products page I'm just going to add those over here now, after that, cart and uh, I want cart and checkout to be sub pages of my account. So I'm going to move this up and I'm going to make this a basic page. Then I'm going to take cart and checkout to be both sub items of the my account page. So once I have completed how I want all of my menu items or navigations to be set up, I will just click on save menu over here. And just like that, my menu has been saved. Now, once you create your menu, you are going to see that on the top right, you have manage locations. 
So you will click on that and then you have your main menu, which is you're going to, you know, select the menu name. So I named this the main menu and I'm just going to set this as my primary menu. And then you can choose a handheld menu or a secondary one. You can create, you know, customized ones as well. Now in my product section, I want to add products into it. So if you're not able to do that, you can see on the left side, you have your posts, product categories, product tags, uh, any kind of categorized custom links, custom products, all of those are in these specific categories and you will find everything that is not just pages in these drop down menus on the left and you can just drag and drop them. So I have this uncategorized in my mm, categories. I can just click on add to menu and then I can add that into my product section like so. And these would be uncategorized products, shirts, tops, blouses, so on and so forth. You can add pages accordingly and then later on add those pages into your menu structure. Now, in your menu structure, you can add pages, posts, landing pages, uh, products, any kind of custom link, categories, product categories, product tags, and any WooCommerce endpoints if you have integrated WooCommerce. Now, I will just save this and we will refresh our little page over here. And now you guys can see our menu has been upgraded. This is the home page. Then you have the shop page in the product page. Then you have the my account, cart and checkout pages. So in this way, you can build a very amazing looking navigation menu on WordPress. Now with this, you can even go ahead and open it up in your WordPress website editor. So once you have that, you can click on customize and you can just customize the appearance of your menus or customize your menus in this editor as well. So you guys can see this is like my editor. And I'm just going to skip ahead like so. And you will be able to see your menu items over here. And you can see on the left side of your screen, you have your header. And in your header, you will have your background colors. You will have all that added. And you can click on publish to customize the uh, backgrounds, the overall appearance. And then you have menus as well. And you will be able to see the settings, the uh, menu locations, how you can add and remove items from the website editor as well. If you find it more comfortable to use this, then in your main menu, you have the location. So you can add this as a secondary menu, which is going to appear differently on mobile devices and a handheld menu as well. So I don't like to do that. I like to just keep it as my basic menu on the top over here. I don't like to add it as a secondary menu over here. It looks too much for my website layout but you also have those options as well and if you go back you can just uh, customize the header appearance to customize the overall appearance from here and you can click on these settings to directly access now i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to add your navigation menu on your wordpress website make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comments and i will catch you guys in the next video.